Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Quinn and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Claire's Fundamental Skincare Line. So full disclosure that all of these products were sent to me by YesStyle. Thank you so, so much YesStyle for sending me these products that I could try them out and give you my honest thoughts and opinions on them. And before we start, I just want to let you know that this video might be a little lengthy because I'm going to um, break it down into, and I want to go into um, my first impressions, some of the ingredients, and my experience with the products. So um, this video might be a little lengthy, but I will leave all of the timestamps down in the description box below in case you want to skip to a certain part. And also, because this video is um, a little more detailed, I have notes on my phone, so if you ever see me looking down or just not looking at the camera. I'm just looking at my notes um, just so that I make sure that I say everything that I need to say in this video. And um, also if you want to purchase any of the products, I will leave all of the links down in the description box as well. So yeah, let's just get started. So some things that I love about this skincare line are that um, it's vegan friendly, it's cruelty free, and there's no scent. So it should also be good for um, people who have sensitive skin or the, um, they react to skincare products with fragrance in them. And also before I start diving into the actual products themselves, I just want to give you a quick disclaimer that um, just because these products work or don't work for me doesn't mean that they'll work or that they won't work for you. Everybody's skin type is different, so um, just because it works for me doesn't mean that it's going to work for you and vice versa. So I will be leaving all of the um, links down in the description box below. So if you want to try these products for yourself, um, you can just go ahead and follow the link. And if you want to buy through YesStyle, I will leave my code in the description box as well as on the screen so that you can get a discount. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start diving into the products. So the first product that I'm going to be talking about today is going to be this Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. So this gel retails for $24.50 on YesStyle and it's supposed to depuff the eyes and it targets eye circles. Um, so this actually comes in this nice little pump which is really nice because one pump is really all you need. I do one pump and I put it um, on the underside of my eyes. I even put it on my eyelids because my eyelids have been dry lately and I put it on my um, forehead lines and my smile lines as well. If you don't put um, the cream on your forehead lines or smile lines, you really only need half a pump because a little really goes a long way with this product. And um, one of the first things I noticed when I was trying this out was that it was super quick absorbing. As soon as I um, tapped it in on the underside of my eyes, it just felt like my skin drank it up. I barely even felt that it was there anymore. Um, so that was really nice. and. I also noticed that it was really cooling and refreshing. So when I put it on, um, even after it dried, it felt like really cool on my face. So um, during summer months, this would be a really um, nice thing to have on your face. The first one that I'm going to use is the um, Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel. I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, one pump onto the back of my hand. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit on my ring finger and then I'm just gonna dab it um, on the underside of my eyes. I'm just gonna pat it in I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side. I feel like it's really um, quick. My baby hairs are just in the way. And anyway, I feel like it's just really um, quick absorbing and it makes my um, eyes feel plump already. It feels um, more moisturized as soon as I put it on. I'm, I don't think it looks any more plump, but it, feels really nice. 
And then for the rest of the product that I have left, I'm just gonna put um, some on my smile lines and also on my forehead. So I'm just gonna dab it. It feels really nice, like, like it's, it has a cooling effect. So the next products I'm going to be talking about is going to be the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. So this product retails on YesDial for $23.50 and this is another eye cream but the difference between this one and the um, Nourishing Gel, was it called the Nourishing Gel? Eye Awakening Gel. The difference between this eye butter and the Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel is that the um, eye awakening gel, it's supposed to depuff the eyes and target dark circles. While um, this eye butter, it um, actually doesn't do that. What it's supposed to do is actually um, protect the skin around your eyes. So the skin around your eyes is very delicate. If you, even if you like rub your eyes a little bit, that can contribute to getting fine lines and wrinkles. So this product is supposed to help with that by improving the barrier around your eyes. So this product is very light and very buttery. It is quick absorbing, which is also one of the first things I noticed. This product and the other product are both super quick absorbing. And even though this one is more of a cream formula compared to the other one, and it's called an eye butter. It's actually not oily or greasy at all. Next up, we have the Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. So again, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Okay, And then this is what the eye butter looks like. So this one, um, because it's a butter, it's gonna, it's more creamy compared to the other one, which was a little bit more liquidy. So I'm just gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna dab it under my eyes with my ring finger. And same with the other eye. Okay, and then same thing, I'm just gonna take the rest, put a little bit on my forehead and on my smile lines. Just gonna dab it in. Make sure everything is all fully in there. All right, so the next product I'm gonna be talking about is the Fundamental Ampule Mist. And this one comes in this spray packaging, which can be a little scary because I've used a couple of sprays in the past where I'll spray it and it won't even spray at my face. It'll spray like over here or over here. And then I have to like struggle to find out what angle I should be spraying it at for it to actually hit my face. And then I've also used some other sprays where um, you spray it and it just feels like someone like spit in your face um, but this one um, I really like it's really nice it's a really fine mist so when you spray it um, you do have to go around your face it's not like an all-around kind of spray but it's a really fine mist and when you spray it it goes exactly where you want it to go and it doesn't feel like someone's spitting on you or anything <laughs> Um, and this spray is supposed to provide hydration. It, um, it's recommended that you actually don't layer this. So um, on the website, I believe it says that you only need a few sprays, just two or three sprays and that's it. You don't need to layer it at all. It gives you a really nice dewy finish. Um, so if you don't like that, um, you can always just pat it in. Just make sure that you pat it in really well to get rid of um, that dewiness, but it does have a dewy finish to it. So do keep that in mind. 
um, but it also gives you uh, really good hydration for your face. So I have really dry skin and um, my face just drinks this up, but I still get a nice dewy finish. So if you're looking for that glass skin effect, I feel like um, this is a really good product to contribute to that. I have the Fundamental Ampule Mist. Um, it says to spray two to three times and allow to air dry or pat in with fingertips. So I'm just gonna try to um, spray it. Um, probably two or maybe three times. <laughs> Let's see. It doesn't really feel like it coated my whole face. I'm just gonna do like one more than like my neck. Oh, Got some in my mouth. It's not good okay i'm just gonna i'm gonna pat it into my skin so that it fully absorbs what do you think like really really shiny but in a healthy way which is good all right so next up we have the fundamental watery oil drop this product retails on yes style for 31 dollars and the name is Fundamental Watery Oil Drops. So you would think that it's an oil, but it's not. Um, so when I first started using these products, I didn't look into any of the ingredients or anything like that. Um, I just started using them. So when I first put this product on my face, I really, really thought that was an oil. They really tricked me with this one. Um, so it felt like i was spreading a lightweight oil over my face and i was wondering what kind of oil blends do they use for this because it feels so nice and luxurious it felt really smooth and silky uh, and when i finished putting it on my face and i touched my face it wasn't sticky it was tacky but not sticky and it just felt really nice and made my skin glow and it was soft. And um, there's no oil in this at all. It's just a lightweight serum. So if, you, if your skin is more on the oily side and you can't use um, most oils, I feel like this is a really um, good choice because it has all the good qualities of an oil without having any oil in it at all. And it also comes in this um, dropper packaging, so it makes it super easy to get the product out and to put it on your face. I just take the dropper and put it directly on. My cat just moved my camera. <laughs> Cut. Sorry, my cat just moved my tripod and messed up my whole um, camera setup. Um, but what I was saying is um, when I use this product, I just take the dropper and I just take it out and I just directly drop it onto my face. And next up, we have the fundament fundamental watery oil drop. So usually I use a marula oil, um, but I'm swapping that out for this watery oil drop. What I like to do with my oils is I just like to um, apply it directly on my face. So I'm just going to put a drop here, a drop here, and then a drop here. Then I'm just going to take my fingers and I just quickly pat it into my skin. I also like to put get a little bit on my eyelids because my eyelids lately have been getting kind of dry and I, I've never had that happen before. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I think it's just because the weather has been really dry lately, but um, the oil seems to help. All right, so last but certainly not least, we have the Fundamental Water Gel Cream. And as you can see from this um, jar, I've used quite a bit of this already and um, this product retails on yes style for thirty dollars and ninety cents 
So this is supposed to be a lightweight gel. It's super, super watery. Um, when I was filming my first impressions, I was trying to tilt the jar to show you guys on the camera, um, but it was just so watery. I was scared to tilt it because it was about to spill, um, just like a small tilt and it, it spills. So um, be careful when you're using this because it is super watery. It comes in this jar packaging and it comes with this little uh, spatula. Um, however, I will say that a little product really goes a long way with this because it's so watery and so spreadable. Um, you really don't need much of it on your face. If you put on too much, then your face actually becomes really um, sticky in my um, experience. So what I do now um, is I actually, instead of scooping it with, with the... Um, this like you're supposed to, I don't know what to call it, the indent on the inside. I actually use the back of the spatula to scoop out the product now and then put it on the back of my hands because I find that when I scoop it the regular way, I end up getting too much product. But when I restrict myself by using the back of the spatula, it gives me the perfect amount to put all over my face and neck. The one thing that I really don't like about this, I know that I said, um, all these products, they're unscented, um, but for some reason, this product, it smells, let's see, it smells a little bit like old books. Like, you know, when you go into a library, you get that old book smell. This is what this product smells like to me. So that's the only thing that really bothers me about it. And it bothers me to the point where I'm not sure if I want to use the product anymore because it smells so much like old books, but I don't know, it could just be me. Fundamental water gel cream. And this one is supposed to be um, a moisturizer. And it also comes with this little, um, I almost dropped it, this little scoop. I'm usually not like a huge fan of scoops just because um, they don't have uh, anywhere for me to put them usually and I always end up putting them like on top of a lid or something which is not an ideal spot because I have a cat and her cat fur gets everywhere and then also attracts dust so every time I like reach she needs the scoop it's dirty <laughs> please make a scoop holder <laughs> that would be so convenient anyway the fundamental water gel cream this is what it looks like inside it's super watery um like i'm scared to even like tilt it to show you guys because i'm scared it's gonna spill so watery so i'm probably just gonna take like a scoop wait let, let's see what the directions say um after cleansing dispense an appropriate amount <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna guess that an appropriate amount is one scoop. So I'm gonna scoop in here. It's so watery. It looks like it's about to drip just into my hand. Wow. Okay, this is what it looks like on my hand. It's kind of a mess. It's really runny. Um, it looks like it actually might be too much for my face, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so I've like rubbed in everything that I put on my face, and I honestly, I don't think I'm gonna need this little last bit. It's actually starting to drip from my hand to my arm. So I'm just gonna, just gonna rub it into my hands because I have really bad dry skin and my hands usually get like really bad eczema. So um, hopefully this moisturizer helps. All right, so now that we've gone through a quick introduction and my first impressions of all the products, let's go ahead and dive into the ingredients. 
So the Fundamental Eye Awakening Gel has two key ingredients in it. The first one is going to be caffeine, which helps target um, the puffiness by dissolving the fat layers underneath your eyes. And it also helps with collagen production. So collagen is something that your skin produces naturally, but over time, um, you actually start producing less of it. So it's really good to start incorporating products in your skincare routine to help with the production of collagen because this is what is going to help keep your skin elastic and it's going to help your skin look younger. The second key ingredient in the nourishing um, or the awakening eye gel is going to be uh, red bean and red bean is really good for helping brighten up your skin. For the fundamental nourishing eye butter, um, the key ingredient in this one is going to be sunflower seed oil and what sunflower seed oil does is it helps maintain the skin's natural barrier. So that is what is going to um, help protect the sensitive skin around your eyes. So the Fundamental Ampule Mist, the Watery Oil Drop, and the Water Gel Cream all contain one um, similar key ingredient and that is going to be green tea. So the um, Fundamental Ampule Mist contains 82% Jeju green tea. Um, for the watery oil drop, I couldn't find an exact percentage, but um, it is also a high amount of the Jeju green tea in that one. And in the water gel cream, it's 63.7% um, green tea. And green tea is an amazing skincare ingredient because it is loaded with antioxidants and everything that I've mentioned so far, um, ingredient wise, they're all antioxidants, but Green tea is just really, really loaded with antioxidants and it's soothing. It really helps with redness. It helps clear up acne. So overall, green tea is just a really good um, skincare product and it's, it's like a super ingredient. It also has caffeine in it because it's green tea. So that is actually going to further the effects of the caffeine that is present in the eye awakening gel. So the Fundamental Ampule Mist also contains um, rice, okra, mugwort, and cucumber extracts. And these are all just really uh, moisturizing ingredients, so that's going to help moisturize your skin. Sorry if there's some weird tearing noises. My cat is playing and being really loud right now. <laughs> So another key ingredient in the um, Fundamental Ampule Mist is going to be sodium hyal... I might butcher this. Sodium hyaluronate. Hyaluronate? Please tell me how to say that. Sodium hyaluronate. Um, this is going to be a derivative of hyaluronic acid, um, but the difference is that um, sodium hyaluronate, it has a... Uh, lower molecular weight. So what this means is it's going to be able to um, penetrate deeper into your skin um, as compared to hyaluronic acid, which just creates a protective barrier around the skin. So because of this, um, sodium hyaluronate is able to attract more moisture in your skin cells. So it's actually more hydrating than um, hyaluronic acid. And it also um, has a soothing effect and it really helps with um, fine lines and wrinkles as well. Now for the fundamental watery oil drop, um, one ingredient in there is ferment extracts, which is uh, really, really good because um, fermented products help um, your skin absorb the product better. And it also helps the other active ingredients work better as well. Um, however, because this is more of, I feel like it's a newer um, ingredient on the market, so a lot of people haven't had any experience with it. It's supposed to be suitable for sensitive skin and um, it has less chance of having a bad reaction but if you've never had it before or have never used it before i would recommend definitely um, patch testing it on uh, maybe like your arm or 
um, an area that no one's going to see because if you do react to it, you're probably going to react really bad to it. The Fundamental Watery Oil Drop also has ceramides, which um, helps protect the skin and it helps lock in moisture. The last key ingredient in the watery oil drop is going to be uh, peptides. And peptides just help improve your skin barrier and um, it's a really good anti-aging product as well um, because it helps reduce wrinkles. Now the uh, Fundamental Water Gel Cream has panthenol um, and what panthenol does is it helps hydrate and calm the skin. It's loaded with vitamin B5, so that's gonna be really good for your skin. So now that we've talked about first impressions, um, what the products are, and dove into some of the ingredients, I just want to let you guys know about my personal experience with the products. So I've been using these products for a little over a month now, and my um, first thoughts on them were that they were super hydrating, which they are, and um, I feel like the more I use the products, the less products that I actually need um, because it's loaded with so much good ingredients that help your skin retain moisture and help create um, like a protective barrier for your skin. So because I've been using these products that have been loaded with these good ingredients, I feel like I don't need to use as much product anymore because my skin isn't as dry now as it was when I first started using the products. And so I'm loving it. It's such a great thing because my skin is so dry. Um, I forgot to tell you guys a little bit about my skin in the beginning of the video, but I have really dry skin. I get eczema. I've never gotten eczema on my face. Um, but I've gotten eczema on other parts of my body, um, especially my hands and my feet and my face just gets super dry and I get dry patches. It's been really hard for me to find skincare products that are hydrating enough for my skin, but I'm really impressed with this line of products because I feel like, wow, I really don't need to use as much products anymore because it's really healing my face. Another thing um, I Before I started using these products, I had a really, really dry, flaky patch right under my eye right here, and um, it hurt a lot. Um, but after using these products, after just a week, um, my dry flake under my eye actually started healing. It wasn't dry anymore. Um, it did sting a little at first when I started using the products, but after a week, it actually healed up. It didn't hurt anymore. It wasn't flaky. Um, it did leave a small scar, um, but after, I wanna say after two weeks, that scar started to fade and I can still see a tiny, tiny little scar there right now, but I'm very confident that if I keep using these products, that scar is just gonna be gone. Another thing that I want to note is I have a pretty pronounced smile line on this side of my face and um, I wouldn't say that it's gone away necessarily but I've noticed that after using these products that smile line has definitely become less apparent so I'm really happy about that because um, I've been trying to find for years I've been trying to find something that'll help me fade that line and I've never found something that worked until now. I do have some forehead lines up here as well. I haven't noticed any improvement in those um, so far, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that if I use these products long enough that it might help that as well. Yeah, and then just overall, I just really love the way that these products make my skin look. I love how they make my skin feel and yeah, well, for all, I just have nothing but good things to say about these products. Would I buy them again? Yes, definitely yes. Um, I feel like I, it's just taken me so long to find something that works for my dry skin, and I just can't believe that I finally found something. There has never been anything that has made my skin feel so moisturized, and 
I feel like my skin might be over moisturized now because I'm not used to it. If you have oily skin, at first I wasn't sure if you know this would work on people with oily skin because my skin is really dry and I felt like these products might be a little too hydrating for um, someone with oily skin but I have read a couple of reviews on YesStyle by um, people who did have oily skin and apparently it works really well for them so you know if you have oily skin and you're a little scared to try these out because of how hydrating they are i feel like it might still work for you um just use less of the product definitely yeah so that is all i have to say about these products so if you like this video please make sure to like comment and subscribe and yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video.